please also make a movie the sc st act files my dear country people sc st prevention of atrocities act is such a curse which is destroying the fabric of society i ask all of you indians that after all with whom the atrocities are happening in reality with sc st or with general and obc every poor deprived general and obc person is suffering the consequences of reservation over this in the name of sc st act the exploitation and atrocities that general and obc people are facing is it not a sin innocent people are being implicated in false cases by taking the help of this black law and their lives are being ruined is it not injustice not only the people of sc st class are misusing it but politicians are also misusing this lousy law and baking their political breads if i mention some false cases recently dr archana sharma was falsely implicated in this case due to which she committed suicide the next case is that of a young woman from bundi district of rajasthan who was raped by a sub inspector named ramlal meena neither the sub inspector was arrested nor was there any inquiry done against it on the contrary his wife implicated that girl in a false case of sc st act after 6 years 23 jat youths were acquitted in the case of atrocities on dalits in the sc st court of hathras uttar pradesh after 6 years due to no evidence against all these people they have been found innocent in these 6 years the lives of these innocent youths which have been ruined by this unjust law who will return those important years vishnu tiwari a resident of village silavan in lalitpur district of up has been released from agra central jail after 20 years now the court has termed the case filed against vishnu as false after 20 years the question has started to arise that who will return those 20 years of vishnu's life which he put behind the bars without any crime who will return him to his parents who left this world in agony due to the sorrow of the young son also who will introduce him to his brothers who are no longer in this world now decide for yourself who is suffering atrocities and injustice in reality i myself do not know how many people belonging to sc st category have lived together with brotherhood i have never made any racist remarks or misbehaved with them we used to sit and eat together and share happiness and sorrow amongst ourselves and still do today so what kind of lie are you spreading in the society if you are taking vengeance from us 200 years ago remember that god will never forgive you i ask all of you whether baba sahib bhimrao ambedkar has gone to give you this education baba sahib was an idol of justice he was a messiha of every deprived oppressed class he was not just a leader of lower caste people but a leader of every exploited deprived section why are you people tainting baba sahib's education and his image today when the injustice being done to the general and obc people in this way they are being exploited through this law i ask who will become their messiah who will raise their voice by becoming the baba sahib of today out of all the cases registered under this black law 80% turn out to be fake and out of the remaining 20% 10% turn out to be fake later this law is being used by the people with disgusting mentality only to take revenge or to serve their own interests otherwise corrupt politicians are using it to bake their political loaves i also have many friends and well wishers belonging to sc st category i ask don't you think that government and supreme court are doing injustice with us in the end i will say only one thing that if any maika lal has the courage to show the truth then make a film on this black law as well jai bhawani bharat mata ki jai